everybody knows this property has been um, for sale and designated as a Pittsburgh Boys business park for 10 years or so. Um, and we finally have a company that's interested in moving here, it's a retail company. The one point of concern for a lot of groups and a lot of individuals with this particular piece of property is it has a delineated wetland identified on the property. And it's right almost up against the property line on the, I'm so assuming, uh, like that's the southeast corner of the lot. Would that be the southeast, south of yes. Yeah. Right, right up against the back of the Rescue Squad's property. And um, Mr. Hazel and I met yesterday at length and discussed it, and uh, I reviewed some reports that we had in our records here, um, and it is definitely a delineated wetland. So in an effort to appease everybody and not negatively impact the, the sale of this property to this investor, I reached out to the proposed uh, buyers today, it's, it's Rock Ridge Co-op, that's who it is. And I made two proposals to them, both of which they were in agreement with. And the first one would be that if they bought it as it's depicted and offered for sale right now, they would not disturb the wetland whatsoever. They would leave it as it is. The other option that I asked them about, and they were actually more in favor of this option, and to be perfectly clear, I'm in more favor of this option too, the recommendation to council. If you look at your plant diagram that you have in front of you that I left for you tonight, you'll notice on the front end of that diagram down toward US Route 60, you have a 2.4 2 acre green space. My proposal to them was that we just flip that green space to the back end of the property where the uh, wetlands is located. That would more than uh, cover the area of the wetland and then they would purchase everything else. They're still purchasing the same amount of property. The only difference is we would be retaining ownership at the town of the designated wetland in a green space which would be available for possible future development as a, a, a small green space park area uh, in that part of the town. It would not negatively impact the, the purchasers because they'd be getting the same amount of property and it wouldn't negatively impact the town because they, the sale would still be able to go through. Plus we would retain the potential to have another park green space in town. That, that is what I would like to report on that, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Do they agree with this in principle or in writing? Well, it just, just happened today. They will put it in writing. So if we, if we keep the green space, I mean the wetlands, whatever you're calling it, that would be ours. It will be the town. We'll have to keep it up. Nothing to be built or used. It, 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 but the way I understand it is, yes, it, it, it could be developed, but it's going to be an extremely expensive endeavor uh, to go through all of that. Uh, if the town did retain ownership of that property, uh, it would be better served for the town, I think, as a green space, park, uh, atmosphere, uh, and a country setting. Now, it is my understanding, look at the lay of the land, that the green space is partly a green space because the land starts sloping downward a lot and it eventually will be level with the highway, Highway 60 there. That's okay with them? Hey, today, when I talked to Mr. Whitmore, he was very receptive to the idea. In fact, he indicated that it was, might be a relief for them not to take ownership of the wetland. So leave it with the town. The green space as is now, you can't build on it? No. Or, or no way to get, but I just don't want to lose 2.4 acres. That, that's already set aside. It cannot be used for anything. 